every trader uh, faces challenges in the beginning. Uh, can you share some of the early mistakes that you made when you first start trading? How did you overcome them? So the first challenge that everyone's going to face is inevitable. It's the process of trying to become profitable and not making money for years and years. So that's the overall challenge. If you can get over that, then you're going to be profitable. But the, the early challenges that I had, like the very specific ones, were just the fact that you would take trades and not understand lot size, not understand any risk management. And when you would take these trades, you would have a chance to blow your account. And for me personally, I had this on another interview. I was trading in school and I had this one account and I didn't know anything about lot size or stop losses or take profits. Oh, so I took that trade, it went down and I let it run. It was my famous bathroom trade. I took in the bathroom, I let it run and it blew my account. So I'll say overall, the, the biggest mistake and the biggest thing people to get over is don't even look at the market until you understand what a pip is. You understand a position sizing calculator and you understand what a stop loss and take profit is because you're just gambling at that point if you're not. Yes, yes. So yeah. in the beginning, in that moment, uh, did you tell yourself, oh, this trading is for me? So the the reason I knew it was going to be for me because I was never a big dude in school. I, I was kind of like kid that would sit in the corner and try to figure out another way to make money or get away from like that whole school system. So I knew that day one when I committed to trading, just overall trading, not even Forex, that I had to commit fully. And I said, this is going to be what I'm going to do because if it's not, then I'm going to have to restart and go again. So I'm never going to give up and just keep on going. So I just found the very, it was, it's not a dumb, I found the very first thing other than school and I just never look back after that and i guess it worked because we're here today i'm doing this interview yes yes uh, thank you and uh, uh what are the most uh significant lessons that you learned from the mistakes in that trading journey how have these lessons shaped your current trading strategies okay so the most significant lesson is the emotional toll that it takes to be a profitable trader there's so many things that you have to be able to manage. And for me, one of the biggest lessons for me was when I first got funded. And that was, you're not used to seeing hundreds of thousands of dollars in capital on your account. So there's certain periods in time when you're running fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 in profit. You could take that out and say, okay, well, I can buy a car, I can do this. But what you have to understand is you have to stick to your rules. So the biggest thing for me was understand yes. trading psychology and execute like a robot, not based on emotions. Because if I were to execute based on emotions, I would have lost money. Maybe would have get a little bit more money at some trades, but then my whole trading plan would just hit the floor and just become garbage. So stick to your trading plan, execute like a robot and take your emotions and separate them from trading. And that's how you actually become profitable. Excellent.